Welcome to the Shazanism. Today we explore the essence of substance, a film that dives deep into the layers of existence and meaning. Coralie Fargett, known for her visceral thriller, 2017, returned in 2024 with This horror film dives deep into the dark side of beauty obsession. Starring Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley, the film shocked and captivated audiences. It's not just a horror film, it is a social commentary. It examines the anxieties surrounding aging and appearance. It also explores the dangerous lengths people will go to for perceived perfection. Fargett crafts a chilling narrative. She utilizes body horror to expose the ugliness beneath the surface of beauty. The film is a stark warning about the price of vanity. Elizabeth, a famous actress, grapples with aging in a youth-obsessed industry. Desperate to maintain her fading beauty, Elizabeth turns to a black market drug called The Substance. The Substance promises rejuvenation, however, it delivers a twisted outcome. Elizabeth's transformation is not as expected. A separate, younger version of herself, Sue, emerges. Sue is everything Elizabeth desires to be. She is youthful, alluring and carefree. However, Sue's existence comes at a horrifying cost. The lines between them blur, leading to a terrifying battle for dominance. The film follows their descent into chaos. It becomes clear that beauty comes with a terrible price. The pursuit of perfection leads to devastating consequences. is a brutal reflection of society's obsession with youth and beauty. This obsession is deeply ingrained in our culture, affecting how individuals perceive themselves and others. The constant bombardment of images and messages that equate beauty with worth creates an environment where self-esteem is often tied to appearance. Elizabeth represents a culture that values appearances above all else. Her character is a mirror to the societal pressures that dictate how one should look to be accepted and admired. The admiration she receives is not for her character or achievements, but for her ability to conform to these superficial standards. Her desperation for the substance highlights the pressure women face to maintain their youthfulness. This pressure is relentless, pushing individuals to go to extreme lengths to preserve their appearance. The fear of aging and the loss of beauty can lead to a cycle of anxiety and self-doubt. This vanity is not just a personal flaw, it is a reflection of a larger societal issue where worth is often measured by physical appearance. The beauty industry capitalizes on these insecurities, promoting products and treatments that promise to restore youth and beauty. It is a product of societal expectations. These expectations are perpetuated by media advertisements and even social interactions, creating a standard that is often unattainable. The judgment and scrutiny faced by those who do not meet these standards can be harsh and unforgiving. The film critiques the media, the beauty industry, and the relentless pressure they impose on women. It exposes the unrealistic ideals that are often portrayed and the impact they have on individuals' mental and emotional well-being. The constant comparison to these ideals can lead to a sense of inadequacy and dissatisfaction. Elizabeth's transformation is a grotesque manifestation of these pressures. Her journey reflects the extreme measures some may take in the pursuit of beauty, often resulting in physical and emotional harm. The transformation serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of succumbing to societal pressures. The substance acts as a symbol. It represents the elusive promise of eternal youth and beauty, a promise that is often too good to be true. The allure of such quick fixes can be tempting, but they come with their own set of consequences. It represents the lengths to which people, especially women, will go to fit into these narrow standards. The desperation to conform can lead to drastic actions, highlighting the powerful influence of societal expectations. It highlights the dangerous allure of quick fixes and the emptiness of superficial beauty. The pursuit of such ideals often leads to a hollow sense of fulfillment as true worth and happiness cannot be found in appearance alone. The film encourages viewers to question these standards and seek value beyond the surface. The emergence of Sue introduces the theme of duality. Elizabeth and Sue are two sides of the same coin. They represent youth and age, beauty and decay, desire and repulsion. Their struggle is a visual representation of the internal conflict many women face. This conflict involves societal expectations, personal desires and the fear of aging. It is a battle for control, both physically and metaphorically. The film asks, 
Who are we beneath the surface is our identity tied to our appearance. Through Elizabeth and Sue's horrifying journey explores the complexities of self-perception in a world obsessed with image. Fargeet masterfully utilizes body horror to convey her message. The physical transformations are not merely shocking, they are symbolic of the internal corruption caused by vanity and the pursuit of unrealistic beauty standards. Elizabeth's body becomes a battleground, the substance warps her flesh, reflecting the distortion of her self-image. Sue's existence is parasitic, it feeds off Elizabeth's desire to recapture her youth. This visceral horror serves a purpose, it forces the audience to confront the ugliness beneath the surface. It is a reminder that the pursuit of superficial perfection can lead to monstrous consequences. Section 6, Echoes of Horror Past, Comparisons to Classic Literature and Film. This section delves into the rich tapestry of horror, drawing connections between timeless literary works and their modern cinematic counterparts. The narrative echoes themes found in classic works like Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray, where the portrait's decay symbolizes the protagonist's moral corruption. Similarly, David Cronenberg's The Fly explores the horror of transformation, delving into the grotesque consequences of scientific experimentation gone awry. Both works delve into the dangers of vanity and the monstrous consequences of tampering with the natural order. All three explore the dangers of vanity and the monstrous consequences of tampering with the natural order. Wilde's narrative is a cautionary tale about the perils of unchecked hedonism, while Cronenberg's film is a visceral exploration of the body horror genre. In the picture of Dorian Gray, the portrait's decay symbolizes the protagonist's moral corruption, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of living a life devoid of moral integrity. The visual decay of the portrait is a powerful metaphor for the internal rot that accompanies a life of excess and moral compromise. Similarly, Elizabeth's physical deterioration in The Fly reflects her internal struggle and the devastating impact of her transformation. Her gradual decline serves as a poignant commentary on the fragility of human identity and the destructive potential of scientific hubris. The Fly explores the horror of transformation using body horror to expose the fragility of identity and the grotesque potential of scientific hubris. Both films utilize body horror to expose the fragility of identity and the grotesque potential of scientific hubris. The visceral imagery serves to underscore the themes of transformation and the loss of humanity. These thematic parallels highlight the enduring power of these themes. The exploration of vanity, transformation and the consequences of tampering with nature remain relevant across different mediums and eras. Modern reinterpretations of these classic themes reimagine them for a contemporary audience, offering fresh perspectives while maintaining the core messages. These modern adaptations offer a timely commentary on contemporary anxieties surrounding beauty, aging and identity. They resonate with today's audience, reflecting societal concerns and the timeless nature of these themes. Section 7 critical reception, a divided lens. The film was met with a divided critical response, sparking a wide range of opinions and discussions. Some praised its bold exploration of societal pressures and the effectiveness of its body horror, noting how it delved into the darker aspects of human nature and societal expectations. Others, however, found the narrative convoluted and heavy-handed in its messaging, feeling that the film tried to tackle too many themes at once, leading to a lack of coherence. Advocates of the film lauded Fargit's direction, highlighting her unique vision and ability to create a tense, immersive atmosphere. They praised the performances of Moore and Quali, particularly their ability to embody the complex duality of their characters, bringing depth and nuance to their roles. The film's stunning visuals and its unflinching portrayal of the grotesque were also commended, with many noting the impressive special effects and cinematography that added to the film's eerie atmosphere. Critics argued the film relied too heavily on shock value, using jump scares and graphic imagery to provoke a reaction rather than to serve the story. They felt the narrative lacked subtlety and that the characters, while well acted, were not fully developed leaving audiences wanting more depth and backstory. 
Some also felt the film's ending was unsatisfying and failed to provide a conclusive resolution, leaving many questions unanswered and viewers feeling unfulfilled. Despite these criticisms, the film sparked debate among audiences and critics alike. It became a talking point, with many discussing its themes and the impact it had on viewers. It provoked discussions about societal beauty standards and the ethical implications of technological advancements in beauty and ageing, making it a significant cultural touchstone. The film's ability to generate such diverse opinions and conversations is a testament to its provocative nature and the powerful themes it explores. Whether loved or hated, it left a lasting impression on all who watched it, cementing its place in contemporary cinema as a film that challenges and engages its audience. Section 8, Fargeet's Vision, a stark commentary on beauty culture, is a testament to Fargeet's distinct directorial style. She is known for her unflinching portrayals of female characters. She tackles difficult subjects with a raw and uncompromising honesty. With Fargeet holds a mirror to society. She exposes the dark side of beauty culture and the impossible expectations placed upon women. Her use of body horror is deliberate, designed to shock and unsettle. Fargeet's vision is clear. Beauty is not skin deep. The pursuit of superficial perfection can have monstrous consequences. She challenges the audience to confront these uncomfortable truths and to question the very nature of beauty itself. Section 9 Conclusion A Lasting Impression is a flawed yet undeniably impactful film. Its exploration of vanity, identity and body horror lingers long after the credits roll. It is a film that provokes discussion and challenges conventional notions of beauty. While some may find its approach heavy-handed, there is no denying the film's power. It serves as a stark reminder of the price of vanity and the importance of embracing our true selves, imperfections and all. It is a haunting exploration of the human condition in an age obsessed with image. If this resonated, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Stay tuned for more filmy explorations on the Shazanism.